Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. I found this really cool looking quiz uh, that I'm going to play today, and uh, I'm going to leave the link in the comments so you can play it as well. Uh, it's the ultimate European languages quiz. We have 15 minutes. Uh, we have to name 162 languages based on where they are on a map. Uh, and the original um, temptation might be to assume there's like 50 languages in Europe, but looking at the map already I can see that there are many uh, languages which are not uh, national languages of the country, which is going to make it interesting. I think half would be a good score on here, that would be 81, but we'll see how we get on. And thank you very much to Senor Oka for making this quiz, it looks fantastic. So let's get into it and we will um, see how we get on. Okay, we're going to just do this geographically I think. So we'll start with Icelandic, and then just south of Icelandic we'll have VOEs. Did I say we're going to do it alphabetically or geographically? Geographically. Okay, let's move to the British Isles. We'll have English, obviously. We'll have Irish. We'll have Scots. Uh, then there's Ulster Scots, which is in Northern Ireland. Uh, we'll have Scottish and... Which is like Scottish Gaelic, which is different from Scots. Like, Scots is the Scots dialect of English, and Scottish Gaelic is the Scottish dialect of Gaelic. Uh... In the Isle of Man, here between Ireland and the UK, we'll have Manx, uh, Welsh, Cornish. And what is this one in the middle here? It's like where Yorkshire is. But Yorkshire is probably not enough of a defined language to have its own language. So I don't know what this would be. So we'll move on. Uh, Danish, the only one in Denmark there. And then in the Netherlands, we're going to have Dutch and Frisian, which is what they speak in kind of the islands um, in the north of uh, the Netherlands here, which extend all the way to like northwest Germany. Apparently, it's the closest uh, living language to English as well, but I doubt it's mutually intelligible. Cool. And then down in Belgium, we're going to have Flemish, which is a dialect of Dutch, I believe. And then we can go down to French. And probably Luxembourgish, I guess. Cool, and there's still a few kind of here on the border of um, Belgium and France. Let's think about what it could be. Well, the French speakers in... Okay, there we go. The French speakers in Belgium are called Walloon, so that is what it is. I don't know what this other one would be here, which is kind of in Calais area. I'm not sure if that's a Belgium or France. Okay, then we're going to think about French regional dialects. So we'll have Britain as one, which is kind of in Brittany here. It's a Gaelic language, the only Gaelic language in mainland Europe, I believe. And then we've got three here, which seem to be in the Channel Islands. Uh, but I don't know what they're called. <laughs> so I'm going to assume they're Jersey, Guernsey, and, well, Sark. It's um, Sirquais which I guess is the dialect they speak in Sark, but I don't know what the ones, what you would call the languages of Jersey and Guernsey. Okay, what other languages do they speak in French? They speak Occitan, is that how you spell it? Occitan? Pro Provencal? Yes, that's one, that's Franco-Provencal, which is here. Okay, and then there's one down here which is around like Nice or Marseille and one up here on the western side and then one up here like Norman, okay yeah Norman because this is Normandy, the region of France. Okay we're doing good so far, might as well bank some while we know them because once we get around to <laughs> Russia and the Caucasus it'll be hard. Okay, uh, Portuguese, uh, Spanish obviously, Catalan which I speak in Barcelona and Andorra. Uh, Basque, uh, okay, what other ones do they speak in Spain? <sighs> Extra Mudaran, is that how you spell it? Extra Maduran? No, um, oh, come on, I know these, uh, Castilian? Castellan? No, Aragonese though, right? Aragonese. Yes, that's Aranese, just Aranese, I suppose. And then we've got some up here in 
somebody that bought Rose Portugal and one down here. Okay, I'm going to come back to these because I'm going to spend a little bit of time thinking about them, I think. Okay, let's do Italy. Corsican, well, that's still French, right? Corsican, Sardinian. Okay, Sardinian was just Sard accepted. Uh, we've got Maltese, let's get that out of the way before I forget. And Sicilian. These are all dialects, I'm sure, like, to anyone who's from watching from Italy or speaks Italian, like, I'm, I think these are pretty mutually understandable, um, but linguists say they're distinct enough to kind of be their own dialects or languages. What do they say? What's that famous saying? A language is a dialect with a flag. So basically, nation states are able to promote what would be dialects as languages. Anyway, <laughs> Latin, they speak that in Vatican City. Just straight up Italian. Uh, Neapolitan, I guess, which is down here in the south of Italy, in Naples. Uh, Tuscan, is that going to count? Nope, uh, but Lombard is there, perfect. And what else is up in the north of Italy? We've got uh, Venice, so maybe Venetian. Great, that is there. This is where it gets a bit difficult. Uh, Tuscan, Pied. Montes, that's kind of northwest of Italy, right? Yep, perfect. I'm just doing Italian regions now. Um, this one's south of kind of where Milan is, could be Genoan, because that's where Genoa is. Bolognese. <laughs> um, okay, I think I've exhausted as much as I can in Italy for the time being. There's like four or five in the center of Italy here, which or the north center, which is going to be quite hard. Um, right, Switzerland, they speak Romance as well as German, French, and Italian. And let's move up to Germany where there's a lot of dialects as well. So let's get German out of the way before I forget that. There's also High German and Low German. Bavarian. Again, same case as Italy. A lot of these are probably... You can understand one, uh, the more if you can understand one. But um, obviously there's quite distinctive uh, cultural differences uh, across U different regions of Europe. Okay, Saxon. Okay, we've got Upper Saxon. Lower Saxon? No, okay. Uh, Silesian? Okay, that's uh, actually on the border of um, Poland and Czechia. Uh, but let's get Czech out of the way. And is Bohemian going to count? No, that like Pomeranian. Uh, okay, I'm Polish. Uh, what's the region of Germany by Berlin? It's Brandenburg, correct? Okay, um, just trying to think what these have been named after cities or regions. Because if it's regions, it's going to be a bit hard for me to do. Um, Frank <laughs> Now I'm just making stuff up. Okay, let's do the Nordic countries. Uh, Swedish, if I can spell it right. Swedish, Norwegian, how are we going for time? We're about halfway through. Okay, the plan was to get half of them. Uh, Finnish. And then I was going to say, this is the Aland Islands here, which I think are Finnish, but they speak Swedish. Um, but they don't seem to be on here. Okay, Sami. Okay, that was a gimme. Lots of different types of Sami languages. Let me just try and see if that's there as well. It's not. Okay. Well, that was helpful. Um, okay, Estonian, Lithuanian, Lithuanian, Latvian. What could this be? Uh, I think there used to be something called land somewhere here but um let's, so I'm trying to use my knowledge of um uh, historical regions of Europe as well Russian okay uh, Turkish Greek Crimean is that a separate language or distinct enough it is fantastic okay Crimean Tata so we had another one which just came up when I typed in TAT Okay, we've got Tata here. I think we've got to give me some. Yes, Tat. Get in there. That's awesome. 
Okay, let's do the big ones first, then we can go back and mull on the others. Uh, Moldovan, Romanian, okay, there was Romani, which I'll take as well. Romanian, Bulgarian, Greek we already got, Albanian, Arabic. Cypriot Arabic, great. Just doing some street of consciousness and things now. Azeri, Georgian, uh, I guess Armenian, Serbian, I guess you could Serbian Croatian together, but they're separate here. Montenegrin, Croatian, Slovenian, uh, Hungarian, Slovakian, Slovak. Okay, and I think that is all of the countries we've done. So we've done 86. Can we get to 100? I think that would be a good result if we can. Okay. Um, what other Russian ones do I know? I don't think I really know any. Um, Chechen. Okay, Chechen. That's there. This region here is kind of Circassia or Circadia. Circassian. Yes, perfect. Well, it's actually came up as Adjigi. Um, but I guess that's an alternative name for it. There's two others in Ukraine which I don't know. There's one here on kind of on the border of Romania and Moldova. There was that breakaway region called Transnistria. And trans obviously means like across, so maybe just that, but no. Uh, live on knees, for some reason that sounds familiar. No, okay. Um, where to go next with my four minutes? We've got these Italian ones, these Germans ones, these Polish ones, Spanish. Gosh, I just don't know what these could be. Like, what about like Kazakh? Does that reach into Russia? It does, just here. Perfect. Oh, um, like Abkhazian, Abkhaz. Ossetian, I was thinking there's breakaway republics in the um, Caucasus. And what's the other one? The Gano Karabakh, right? Karabakh. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this. Gosh, the Caucasus is such a melting pot of languages, isn't it? Persian, is there any influence there? Kurdish, I'm surprised Kurdish is not actually in the eastern part of Turkey. Okay. Um, what is this English one in the middle of English? I just can't think what that would be. If it's not like Yorkie. I said English, right? I did. Welsh, Scot Welsh Scottish. Oh, this is a bit of a Hail Mary. Um, Mancunian or Scouse? No, okay. Uh, all right, what about S Spanish places? This is not going to be Gibraltar, right? But surely they don't have their own language there. Sevillan, Valencian. I'm quite bad with the um. Regions of Spain. Um, I had Aragon. It used to be like Aragon and Castile, right? Extra Madur, but I don't know how to spell that. Extra Madurin. I'm sure that's going to be one of the answers. Um, Andalusian? Could this region here in the south of Spain, I think, is Andalusia. Andalusian? Or Andalusian? No. Okay. Uh, regions of Italy. Tyrolean? Is that a language? South Tyrol, I think, is the region of Italy it's in. No. Okay. Uh, Berlin. Okay. Uh, well, we're not going to get to 100, but we are going to beat 50%, which is good, thanks to these um, southern 
uh, the Sami languages. There's actually two types of Norwegian, I think, but I'm not sure they've um, distinct. Uh, they've made a distinction in this quiz. Um, what's this one on the border here of Hungary, of Hungary, Slovakia? We had Romania already. Bohemia, Moravian. Okay. Oh, I haven't put Bosnia in yet. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm pleased I remembered that. What's this one here? Like, um, this is Trieste, right? Which is in uh, Florentine. No. Okay. Shelter. I think off the top of my head, that's the language that Irish travellers traditionally use. Okay. What have we got? Uh, Druze and Guernsey. I guess those are the language of Jersey and Guernsey, as predicted. Gallo, Asturian, Leonese, Galician, I should have got. Mirandese, Fala, Ladino. Extra Modern was the one I was trying to spell. Looks like I got pretty close. Oh, it's Extra with an E. Gosh, I don't know what this one is. Of Dalin, Karelian, yeah, Karelia is the region between um, Finland and Russia here, which has been uh, disputed in the past. Livonian, I'm sure I tried that, but maybe I spilt it with an A or something, perhaps. Ingrian, okay, Yiddish, yeah, this traditional um, historic Jewish language of Germany, I think. Sorbian, Alemannic, Alsatian, yeah, Alsatian, maybe I should have got. Picard, which is Picardy, I guess. Franconian, not Frankfurtese. <laughs> Ligurian, Laden, Austria, Cimbrian, Monegasque, which I guess is like Monaco French. Macedonian, okay, I just completely overlooked that after telling myself not to miss any countries. Aromanian, be interested to learn more about these uh, these languages. And then we get into the Caucasus, which is, uh, yeah, going to be a little bit difficult there. I wasn't getting any of these. Meadow Marie, Hill Marie, Nunez. Okay, not bad. I think if you uh, beat me, you did pretty well there. Uh, great quiz, Senor Osa. I really appreciated uh, having a chance to do that. Uh, let's have a quick look at the stats. English was the most um, common one. I'm guessing Macedonian is the one most common one I missed. And then followed by Galician and Yiddish all the way down. Um, we did get this one, but I just typed in Sark uh, instead of Sirkais. Um So I don't feel too great about that. Chirk is, this was me typing in, I forget what I typed in to get this, and then Adige was when I typed in Circadian, which also would have been quite difficult, uh, I think, anyway. And then Avkars all the way up. So I very much fit within the curve on that one, I think. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I will see you again when I see you. Maybe a couple of days or so. Kakite ano.